In February 2022, Putin invaded Ukraine, but Putin's war against European democracy started much earlier than that. Moscow has invested millions of euros to intoxicate Russian and European media. In Catalonia, Putin has given explicit support to the ultra-identitarian independence movement, fueling widespread lies, frustration and political polarization. Since 2016, the Kremlin's global disinformation network has been penetrating social networks. That September, the state-run portal Sputnik published the story an independent Catalonia will recognize Crimea as Russian. From 2016 to 2017, there are indications of the presence of Russian agents in Catalonia. Three alleged members of the Central Intelligence Department of the Russian Armed Forces traveled to Barcelona. One day before the illegal declaration of Catalonia's separation, Nikolai Sadovnikov traveled to Barcelona from Moscow, where he met with Puigdemont in official offices of the Generalitat. There, he offered not only economic, but also military aid, consisting of some 10,000 soldiers, to incite as much chaos and violence as possible. Puigdemont's chief of staff, Josep Luis Alay, traveled to Russia in 2019 to seek a political lifeline for Puigdemont's cause, which had floundered two years earlier. A European intelligence report cited by the New York Times reports contacts between Alay and Russian officials concerning the activity of the Tsunami Democratic Platform, which was at the center of violence and public disorder following the Supreme Court's ruling against secessionist leaders. Three days after Tsunami Democratic occupied Barcelona airport, Sergei Sumin, a colonel in Russia's Federal Protection Service, and Artyom Lukoyanov, the son of a Putin advisor involved in Russia's efforts to support separatists in eastern Ukraine, flew out from Moscow. All this information has reached the European institutions, endorsed by the International Consortium of Journalists. The European Parliament has twice called for an in-depth investigation into close and regular contacts between Russian intelligence officials and Catalan secessionist representatives. For 40 years, various pro-independence governments in Catalonia have lacked compunction while working to achieve their goal of creating an ultra-nationalist regime. They have called themselves pro-European while they have been complicit in Russian disinformation, manipulation of discourse and Putin's political entrapment. As of today, the whole puzzle of Russian disinformation and interference in Catalonia has yet to be solved. Mm -hmm.